Hello YouTube friends. This video is going to be a bit of a departure from my usual gardening, sewing, cooking, living around and about the last homely house. It's going to be a completely different video except for the fact that now that I've started talking Norma's turned up <laughs> because I'm going to take you all the way back to Christmas because this is all about my Christmas present. So this was the little Christmas letter that I got from my children on Christmas Day. You know that I have three kids and they have three partners. So I think of myself as having six kids. So my six kids got together and bought me a Christmas present that was a course. And it happened uh, last Sunday. So um, May, in May. So... I can talk about it now. I'll tell you about it now. So I opened this on Christmas morning with my kids there. And um, inside here was a little letter telling me what I was going to do for my course. Can you see what it says? They bought me a course to make a, a, a neon sign to learn about neon and to learn about bending glass and making neon. So on Sunday, we all drove down to Wakefield, um, which uh, three of three of my kids and me went down to Wakefield, which is where this guy has his workshop. So I filmed a little bit with permission and uh, I'm going to put some of the film up. Not much because I, I, it's I'm not trying to teach you how to make neon. I just want to give you a bit of a, an idea about what um, what I did on Sunday. But neon's everywhere, isn't it? And when we say neon, what we mean is those big signs that are above buildings and um, in um, cafes and all of those places where neon is. Once you start thinking about it, neon is everywhere. And it's a really, really interesting art form. Because as the teacher pointed out, every time you see one of those neon signs, there is no way that they can do that on a machine. So every one of them has been handmade in the way that we're going to look at now. Now... I'll show you all the bits and pieces about the workshop. It was really nice. There were people from all over. There were eight of us and we were from all over the country. Some had come from London and from Nottingham and um, me up from the north. And all uh, Wakefield is in Yorkshire. So we all uh, uh, gathered together there in this amazing workshop. I loved the workshop. It had a beautiful um, feel to it, very carefully designed and, and loads of beautiful plants in the office. It was a really, really nice workshop. So I made um, some bits of bent glass. I basically learned how to manipulate glass and bend glass. And at the end of this little video, what we'll do is, because I've got the uh, all the wiring and so on to make my sign work, and also, uh, I haven't properly looked in here because I only got back, uh, it's only a Tuesday today. And so inside here then are all the things that I'm going to need to make this neon sign light up and also to hang it on the wall. Uh, I've got all the, uh, all the bits and pieces to do that. Three of those. Uh, yeah, it's all here. Okay then, so... Um, that's uh, what we're going to do then. We're going to look at the film that I made um, of driving down to Wakefield and um, taking part in this neon workshop. What an amazing thing to do. Really imaginative thing to do. I loved it. OK, then, guys. So uh, I'll see you at the end of this video and we'll see if we can make this sign light up. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You watch that then while I read the instructions. Okay, all the instructions are here. So I'll just have a read of this while you you see what, what I was up to. Okay, see you back here. Okay. 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 Follow the guidance, ensure the safe men. Cut to the tube support they so quite length and screw into the feet.
I'm going to just do a little voiceover while I show you some of the workshop things that we did with Rich. His name is Rich. He wanted to show us how to bend glass using this letter R as, um, as the example, because it's got all the loads of different bends in it that will actually make it a suitable letter to demonstrate with. We learned all these techniques in a very rudimentary way of cutting these tubes of glass. He's putting a bung in the end there with the tube and the other end of the tube uh, is a mouthpiece so that he can blow through it. He's marking off now on his template where the join should be. Not the joins, the bends should be. Where the bends should be. Sorry, Rich. And so the tube then uh, is really important. It's not like blowing up a balloon. It's just very gently applying pressure from the inside of the tube so it doesn't collapse. This is the ribbon burner and you can pull that um, rod out at the end to make the flame any length it, you need it to be. And so for the first bend that he's going to do on this tube of glass, he's going to use the ribbon burner. We use some other burners as well. So you go back to your Bunsen burner days at school and you know that these flames have got um, uh, an intensity to them when you turn them down to blue like that and the heat then is there in that section what he's, t he's turning the the rod in that section there just watch this he's making the first bend the sort of the the bend of the top of the r and the glass is getting more and more liquid and then when it's out of the flame He's applying a little bit of pressure from, by blowing and then he's checking it against the template and then he's pressing it onto that heat retardant mat, which means that it's then, uh, it, it's not going to bend out of shape, if you see what I mean. This is the bench burner now, the bench torch, and this is for doing a, a, a smaller amount of, um, uh, of glass tube. But now that we've already got a bend in it, it's a little bit harder to, to bend the bit you want to bend without catching the bit you've already bent, if you see what I mean. I just love watching this part when the, when the glass starts to become malleable. We all got to have a try at this. You'll see me having a go at this a bit later on. So when it gets to that point where he judges it's just right, he takes that out of the flame and then bends it, not at all how you would expect, <laughs> for this letter R. Checking it against the template again, and now we're going to do another bend. Remember, he's making the letter R. Just checking the template there to see where the direction that the next bend needs to go in. Here we go. It's just starting to bend there now. And I did struggle with how he was doing this until I realized which way he was constructing the R. <laughs> Measuring it against the template, then pressing it flat on that heat retardant mat. And he's not blowing like you're blowing up a balloon. He's just uh, blowing just to make sure the pressure is even uh, throughout the tube as it's cooling down. And then because it's cooling down and could add the, the cold glass and the warm glass, a hot glass, they could actually stress one another. So he's doing a process called annealing sometimes where he's just holding the... Uh, the rod near the flame so that the the cooler glass and the warm glass can equalize temperatures. That was quite important. 
to do that. And now we've got the next part of the R being bent. You can see, can't you, he's doing the back of it. This lovely part here where it starts to melt. And there you go. So that's the basis then of his letter R. There's a lot, lot, lot more work to do <laughs> before that can be a neon, part of a neon sign. And that's why we did a whole afternoon's workshop. I can't go into the ins and outs of all of that with you, but I thought you might enjoy watching that glass being bent. So the hand torch. We're going to start by sealing up the, the end, drawing it off. I'm just annealing it so that it doesn't thermal shock and crack. I'm pretty confident now it won't, so I'm going with a more focused hot flame. I'm just going to use these tweezers to pull the glass away.
we're going to heat up a collar of glass just behind that join. same temperature. As I was saying, glass is quite a high maintenance material. We have a piece ready for processing. So let's take it over there. Yeah. I got the opportunity to learn how to cut the tubes of glass safely and how to bend uh, angles and so on. But this particular exercise, Rich was showing me how to bend uh, a wider piece of glass in the ribbon burner here, keep getting it in the wrong place, uh, into a three-dimensional sort of funky shape. So watch while the, um, the heat turns that solid glass into yeah, get it down a bit further, okay. Into molten glass. Here it goes. You can see it going a bit there. I'm not blowing until it comes out of the flame. And then I'm not blowing. I'm just very, very, very gently breathing into the tube. And this part, you've got a very, very, very few seconds, three maybe, before the thing stiffens up. So I didn't know what I was going to do beforehand, but I made myself that little twisty thing. <laughs> My very own neon sign. <laughs> well, I'm very pleased with that. <laughs> oh, and here is the funky bent bit that I made. Now it's home with me, cooled down. There it is. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I could have had that lit with neon. It doesn't really seem worth um, worth it. <laughs> anyway, there's that one. So thanks for watching that completely different content from my usual stuff. Who knew I was going to be given a neon workshop for Christmas? Now, I've edited a, that out a lot. Uh, it was a four hour workshop and uh, in order for you to get meaning and to understand the processes, I would have had to make that video a lot, lot longer. 
Uh, but I just wanted to, you to see uh, some of the techniques and, and some of the fantastic uh, glass uh, bending. The way that the thing is lit uh, by creating the vacuum in the piece and by cleaning it out with helium, all sorts of other, attaching the electrodes in the correct way, there really wasn't time in, in and I don't like my videos to be too long, you know that. So there wasn't time to do that. So what I'm going to do is suggest that you go into the description below if you're interested and have a look at this workshop. Uh, it's called the uh, neonworkshops.com and I'll leave a link uh, in the description below to, to this guy and his workshop. You can sign up for all sorts of courses, but you can also commission a piece, which uh, I think might be an interesting thing to do. Uh, a nice birthday present uh, for someone or for me. So there are all sorts of uh, options here with Neon. Uh, maybe if you're not in the UK, uh, maybe you could find a Neon maker near you and go and uh, find out what they're doing. I think it's really interesting to know how things are made and to understand that the things that we walk past every day, neon signs, we walk past them all the time. They're in movies, they're iconic, beautiful things. It's nice to know how they're made. And for me, I thoroughly loved and, and enjoyed every second of that. So go down into the description below, check out uh, this guy's website and um, find out a bit more about it if you're interested. Now, I'll be back to ordinary content again soon, whatever that is. There's a lot to do in the garden. Mark's coming again this week and we're going to have another gardening day. There's such a lot to do in the garden. This weather, the wet and the sunshine has made everything just go bonkers. Uh, I'm also working on a lot of liberty at the moment. I've got, if I look at the board opposite me, I've got three different projects on the board that I'm working on that are going to be videos in the Liberty series. And so, um, yeah, it's all kicking off here. So I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for bearing with me with this really weird out there one. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Take care.